several pieces of information sent out regarding this. I think that may have been another topic that it you is. had the chance to discuss in Raleigh. So do you want to? Yeah, I can start. Um, and actually, I got a text from Johnny today um, saying, good morning. I'm working on getting my budget request together and realized the $19 figures that we discussed. So I emailed him the information. I'll re-email it into him. But I did schedule a one-on-one -on -one with him that day after the dinner. Um, his feedback, I went over new fire station, new fire truck, boathouse, and the Greenway extensions, um, or the Greenway projects. And the way he looked at it is that he wants to put it in, or bring it in as a prioritization schedule to say, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Now, obviously, public safety, as it should, is going to take the top one, so the fire station. Um, I told him I wanted to kind of get our list of fire as opposed to me just saying this is what I think should be prioritized but I did think um, I did say I mean I agree with the mentality that public safety should be number one um, so again I had those four things I'm not too sure um, if there was anything else you guys thanks for sending that information um, again consolidate and I'll we'll send it to Donnie again but the only other thing that I wanted to mention is What's that? I was just telling what we said number one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The public, uh, yeah, the, the, the fire station. Um, he had no problems. Again, he was very, very happy to help us, and he's all for it. We just got to get this information to him ASAP. So, mm -hmm. did he give you an idea what kind of like numbers he was working he with? He did not. Or? Okay. Um, because I asked that, because yeah. we talked about some of the individual costs, and I said, well, you do, do you know what we can get covered? And it's uh, yeah. kind of. Let me up ask a question. Air. I mean, if we do, let, let's just say in a perfect world, we get a ton of money for that fire station. Mm -hmm. um, we've committed ARPA funds to that. What does that do to those ARPA funds? Can we reallocate those? Or once they're assigned, are they committed? Yes. And also, in regards to ARPA funds, those deadlines are going to be extended. Mm -hmm. We probably already need to move that to another project. It's 2026, I believe. By the end of 2026. And they have to be obligated by the end of 24. And they have been assigned and uh, allocated it as a chance to acquire property, but now we don't even know we don't even have a property yet. So we assigned a million dollars of ARPA to that, mm -hmm. which we and now we, have to we do. Talked it another, we could probably, uh, the easiest way is just to pay for employee salaries with the ARPA money, which frees up general fund money. Okay, but that is a permitted use, those yeah. salaries? Yeah. To offset salaries. It, they've made that particularly for under, if you get, if you receive under 10 million total, you can do that which without having to go through a project by project approval on the use of the money and you have less red tape restrictions tied to the, to the expenditures. Hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. How much of a bite does a million take out of uh, one of your salaries? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not without, yeah. <laughs> um, water and sewer, I did also talk to him about the water and sewer projects. So um, it was the fire station, again, to go reiterate, fire station, truck, new truck, boathouse, greenways, and then there were some water and sewer projects that Kevin and Barry um, sent me over, and Jamie actually sent me over, I think it was, um, to discuss with him. And he did say that that's appropriate to spend funds, state funding on. Uh, he didn't really give me any con uh, context in regards to road projects, so that's the update from that. I will actually, say just one comment to that too, though. Um, this was my first time going to this, and it was actually a great event. I had a great time. Martha, I hope you had a great time as yeah. well. <laughs> um, I will say each of the locals, so Mount Holly, I've, I've, I've talked with Mount Holly, Gastonia, and Cramerton, and they actually, before going, had set scheduled meetings with all the different representatives. Um, now, most of those were blown the first day because they went late into session, but they were able to carry those over into the second. Donnie was just, since I know Donnie, was able to pencil me in. They also, ironically, um, when I was there, uh, Adrian also showed up to talk to Donnie, but I already had my spot, and I was like, I'm not giving my spot. Um, 
but he actually came with a full-on packet, a booklet of all of their projects of requesting a fund. So just for future references, it might help for us to schedule those meetings in advance and come prepared with binders and materials to actually binders. hand to the individual uh, reps. Binders full of projects. Binders full of projects. <laughs> yes. So just as a little tidbit, I did want to say that. So, but that's that's pretty much it from that perspective. Let me, I'm not sure I understand your case. So fire station is our number one, but you also said boathouse and all that. Is that in conjunction because the boathouse is public safety, or is that? Well, how I understand it, the boathouse is part of the public safety. That's mm -hmm. going to have. It was going to house our fire boat and a county fire boat. And we know. It was that umbrella under public safety as our number yeah. one. But yeah. now one thing to consider about that, that's probably several years down the road. Uh, yeah. And we, best. I remember we know the county's contributing something and the Lake Wiley Marine Commission's contributing something, but we don't know how much it's going to cost. We don't know like how well, we can take that off. I just, that was the one. Oh, no, 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 no. We, I'm, 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 we yeah. had it on, but I'm just saying when you're considering priorities, that one's going mm -hmm. to be out a ways at best. I, I guess my only, um, no, were you done? I'm sorry. No, that was it. Okay. okay. Um, it's hard to know without knowing how much the, the pot is, but you know, is it worth, is it a better strategy or is it a strategy to say, well, you know, here are a couple things that are like maybe 500,000, 900,000, like we, you know, that might be more, like we could knock that out. Like even if we get like 2 million for the public safety station, if it's 7 million to build, you know, where does that leave us at the end of the day? Yeah, he said more projects is better, just kind of like a scatter shot yeah. to just see what sticks. Um, and I know earlier you had talked about the trail projects because of their designation of mm -hmm. the trail. I, and I did bring that up to him, and he thinks that that would probably bode well. So yeah. they had a nice little flyer to go with them too. Yeah. Yeah. So, but again, you know, we have to understand from prioritization is fire mm -hmm. station. And yeah, because like that's that. what um, we need. I talked to them just briefly about like you know ninety nine percent of our conversation was about the Henry Channel other thing. Um, that's all right. Um, the, um, uh, but Donnie said he got the list from you. Brad, he said he, I think he said he'd send it to Brad. And Brad was just like, you know, tell me what, you know, like I know you got a list, but tell me like what you absolutely, you know, absolutely have mm. to have. Um, so I think that was sort of a, like prioritize them. Um, that makes sense. Because yeah, yeah, Donnie said we need to prioritize yeah. our list. So then that part makes sense from Brad's perspective. Yeah. No, we were trying to secure land. The first option was across from the Abbey in mm -hmm. a workshop shed area. Then it shifted over to the water tower, which was deemed it wasn't big enough. For the fire station? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're stuck now. We've got to find land first. Foremost. Well, they were looking at, you guys were looking at two sites, right? I think there were two sites. There were two sites. Problematic. And, All right. Is and, there any chance of joining with the North Belmont to volunteer? I mean, they've got a nice station up there. I mean, anything like we did with the South Point? Well, some of those things have been happening on the board. I haven't been tasked with those things. We just had a look at some particular projects that are legacy projects. Because uh, what, what I'm hearing through the grapevine is that they're having a problem with volunteers getting people up. I think all there. the volunteer departments. Yep. So, I mean, that, that, that is a fully volunteer unit up there, and they're struggling to get bodies. Mm. So, an overture to maybe combine that we take over that property might solve some of the problems. You can take it over and renovate it. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the deal that we worked out some years back with South Point. I yep. mean, I think we only have one or two more payments, and that's our station. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, that's true.
Yeah. The county, they're wanting to dump a couple of these. They're happy to get rid of the stuff. I mean, are we, is the thinking location based because we've got to cover 85, rest on 85? We now have a hospital, we've got the Abbey. I mean, would it make sense to be closer to those because that is kind of out there on Perfection Drive? I would say that if you, I couldn't speak for them, but I would guess that that would be uh, maybe the first approach would be 85 in the hospital. But we, we can have an assessment now. And they do, there are groups that they study and show you the best site selection where it could be uh, the best treatment site for the same specific cost product. Uh, we did one when I was in Maine. And we looked at the new location of that one. Plus that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Earmarked money for the state. I mean, if we were awarded money for the state, I mean, once it's done, it's done. Yeah. We just put it in our general fund. We hold it till we can use it. But either that or it depends how they decide to release it, whether they want a commitment on a specific use before they cut the check. That, that I don't know. I don't know. I don't think any of these are shovel ready. Well, the Greenways, mm -hmm. Abbey Creek, Abbey Creek Wait, Trail Trail. I say I say plural because it's in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And and Jim, I was just kind of thinking back to put it into perspective in regards to amounts. I think last year Town of Stanley got four million. We got one point seven or one point one point seven million. Mm -hmm. Some of that was a pass through the tech works, though, so it didn't yeah. really go to us. Of How much do we have? I thought the 1.7 was a million for the rec center and then 400, 200 for this. No, this was, what was this, 100? 100, 150. 150. 150 for state work. Oh, and then maybe the remainder was passed through to the tech, yeah. the tech works. Yeah. yeah. How much do we ask? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't the, here. The skate park. Oh. So we actually yeah. did 10 times better than what we asked mm -hmm. for. <laughs> and if I recall, Stanley's was just vague that said improvements. $4 million for improvements. That was a million dollars, I think. Wasn't Isn't it? Corbett from Stanley? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Corbett's from Stanley, so that was it. Good enough. <laughs> that's, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Be Okay, um, so a couple million dollars, probably no more than four million. Okay, all right. So our number so they might surprise you. It might. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Our number one. Do we have any idea? I mean, is it public safety? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We probably should do. The I, I mean, I kind of like the idea of doing the site finding uh, that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The site assessment. Because it, it, that seems like it's kind of a, it's a roadblock at the moment is actually where to put it. Well, if we turnkey ready would be a fire truck, a ladder truck, which sounds mm -hmm. like it just recently broke down again, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there's options. They could, uh, it's a three year lead time, so if you order it now, it could be two or three years. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that truck, I mean, if I understood, it's halfway through its normal life cycle, right? I think that's what they said. It's that's about what halfway through its normal life cycle. Captain Hardy said, I think it was. Um, I mean, if it takes three years to get one, I mean, that's something you're going to have to start planning and looking for yeah. in the next yeah. few years. Could have been the capital to pay for it up front. Could have been asked for that. Well, could public safety then be refined to a, a higher, a ladder truck and a study, site study? But we want more than that. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that is public safety, right? I mean, mm -hmm. well, that is in the category roll, of public safety. I know, I know, right? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking. Because, I mean, if you if you phrase it as, like, public safety capital or something, yeah. then you could spend it on the firehouse or a truck or mm -hmm. the land. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can be as generic as possible, it gives you more latitude. Yeah. But they 
we could probably score better if we're a little bit more specific on what we're going to spend it to. I think the Stanley thing was an anomaly. Oh, I, mean, I, I like that improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that, Mark? We were looking at that, and it was like $4 million as ancillary or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's we all know why. Number two, water and sewer. And we do yeah. have those water and sewer projects, um, and those do qualify for state funding. And that's is that has was at least our priority, and still at least for me priority. We all discussed at the last year's budget meeting mm -hmm. or CIP meeting. Yeah. Yeah. We do. There was a list. Yeah, it was. A, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Abbey outfall. Sewer rehabilitation, pump station in Force Main to Charlotte Water, Todd Street, Clay Street, and Elm Street water line and service replacement, and water treatment plant SCADA system upgrade. SCADA, yeah, wow. Well, wasn't this, the state was really pushing regionalization for wastewater treatment? Yeah. Why don't we say, okay, so why don't you help us out with our $15 million debt to achieve the goal that you were promoting? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that one makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 I mean, because, I mean, that's that's their baby, basically. That's what they wanted. Yeah. They got it. They'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the amount that we're on the hook for. Um, and then, at least for me, yeah, because if you think about it, we just bucket it public <coughs> safety, water and sewer, or infrastructure, and then we do the trails. You know, maybe they pick one from each and then they fund it. I don't know how they work. I think mm -hmm. it's just, I think Donnie will put everything in there and then it will go through the cycles of them just playing yeah, horse trading horse and then eventually we end up when the dust settles. Yeah. So trails, right? Mm -hmm. Third? Third. I think the Abbey Creek Greenway would be a. Yeah, I'd put Abbey Creek over. Really? The rail trail. Yeah. But didn't we say we we're just going to say trails, though, so we didn't get it's not specific. Yeah. yeah. That's we true. could maybe provide both of them as just examples to say these are the two projects we have. That, yeah, um, the handy dandy flyer. Yeah, the flyer that whoever mm -hmm. made. I guess you made that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, yeah. yeah. I just put that in front of us. Yeah. Well, so, are we going to limit it to three categories, or do we want to go deeper in the fourth category? Or is that too much? I mean, we I can mean, always ask. ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I, don't, I don't know. Just for clarification, within these categories, are we, I assume we're listing and breaking out all these different individual projects with yeah. the amounts mm -hmm. yeah. so that they can go in if they need to pick and choose. Because they need that. the amounts. Donnie yeah. does need the dollar amounts, or at least our estimated dollar amounts for the project. And the other question would be, would they want this in the form of a resolution of council requesting this with those designated priorities? Probably wouldn't hurt to send that. Probably yeah. wouldn't yeah. hurt. So um, we could have that on the March 13th agenda? Yeah, maybe yeah. if we could finalize it by then, because I know they absolutely yeah, need Yeah, I know they want it. I mean, like, well, we could put that together and send it out this week, Have give you time to look it over, any changes we need, and then have it for the agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they need that. Donnie was texting me today, and he's like, can I get that today, so. I mean, can we give it to them and pass, you know. Yeah. They can't vote tonight. Why can't we? Special. I mean, we didn't have any action items on here. It's just oh. discussion items. I think we've voted yeah. before in a workshop. Whether or not that's but some workshops, I think you have specific items listed for voting. I think Jermaine is a good topic. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll bow the parks on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, or a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're well, I was looking this way. I thought Barry went and ran out the door. door. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, if you're brave, you can make a motion. <laughs> Who, me? I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah. The ghost the of Belmont. Okay. <laughs> All right, so in that event, let's. 
I'll, I'll call for a vote on that. Yeah, I'll make a motion to um, approve or to draft a resolution in support of the projects that we have mentioned. Does that suffice? As yeah. listed. As listed, as yeah. discussed. Yeah. I'll second. All right, motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Very good. All right, now if that closes that out, we have item three. Uh, discuss development of transportation bond package. Uh, this is on here because obviously this is something you've expressed interest in pursuing uh, to address some of the issues uh, that, that you have with the roadways. Uh, I know earlier, several weeks back, I sent you some information from some other towns uh, on different bond projects that they had done. Uh, some of those were done on DOT roads. Uh, some were done in conjunction with DOT funding, but they were done through pockets of money that we don't really have available to us. Uh, you know, it's really at this point a, an open discussion about what projects you would like to include or look at including in a bond package. <coughs> Tiffany's got some information on some of those projects that have been talked about uh, that some one or two are on the state list now, some aren't, uh, but uh, this is really just to get this kicked off. I, I did uh, check with uh, the uh, director of elections whether you have options, whether it's this coming election, uh, future election, but I mean, there's certainly still time if you wanted to put it on the 2023 ballot. Uh, they would need a resolution and wording for the ballot by the end of July. Well, actually, that kind and of that's aligns for this with year. our budget schedule. Like, if we were going to, because we'd have to pay for it somehow. So if we figure that out during the budget. Mm -hmm. when, is, when is the budget meeting again? <clears throat> well, we have to adopt one by the end of June. Mm -hmm. But when is our work? Weren't we going to do a budget <laughs> workshop? You got your calendar with you. Kevin, Kevin's developed the calendar, and I was going to send it out to you into the week. Sometime in March, right? Very good. No. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and threw up a pretty regular workshop. Okay. That makes is sense. the first one March or April? I, I, just, I just recall Probably last April. year where we... Okay, March. Okay. okay. I think we did we did at least one extra. Mm -hmm. Where we had all the department heads. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me ask you a quick question. Sure. Someone had mentioned this in kind of like rough terms or just a, a rough thought, but they said you know I was mentioning they were considering bonds, and they said could you not instead of assuming new debt through bonds, take a look at South Point Road or whatever you want to do to it, and, and create a district, a tax district or something, to where a portion taxes for that area could be earmarked whether you know you said like the, an assessment collect, the collective total and of the area down South Point Road whatever taxes are collected for the city of Belmont would be assigned to 10% or whatever percent you want to put towards you, uh, you can projects. do you can do assessments for road projects as well as other infrastructure no no just no all, assessment all Ear earmarking the taxes yeah. for a specific purpose that would the money's already coming in yeah. the you one know. issue the one issue and I know this has come up in the past you have with South Point is that there's only limited yeah. property that's in the city so you uh -huh. can't use GO bond money outside the city okay well it's just a thought I hadn't thought in those terms and I was like that's an intriguing concept because the money's already coming in you don't have to issue bonds and take on any debt but it's, it's like that's just the thought. Do you want to mention those other projects that have been talked about?
Let me ask you, I mean, what does that project consist of? I mean, is it widening it, or how do you, how, what are we going to do that's going to mitigate the traffic? Sure, so this is something that this is an intersection, but one of the other things that I want to look at is we have a lot of conversations with the city and the city. Originally, when we tried to design this project, we thought that we would have to look at the city and the city. And then we So we would need to have a conversation with them about the type of intersection if we have to use more than the PA and we can project this build out volume to be able to keep moving forward to be able to figure out is this cost estimate still valid? Do we need to be upgraded and what would that look like? Um, the other thing I talked with Randy about as well, which is when we heard him give his connection up here in Java, is that the build out
I mean, I certainly would, I think the easiest one, perhaps the lowest hanging fruit would be Park Street and Catawba Street. That was the one I was had in mind because I think, uh, I think the most needed one obviously is South Point Road, but I think that, oh, well, you know, the 29, you know, I think that scope might be beyond even what, you know, we could do with a bond. Um, and you run into the jurisdictional problems with, the patchwork of county vis-a-vis -vis city. So I just think that Park Street and Catawba Street, we know it's needed. Um, I think that could, that's a constraint on a lot of different things at the moment. And that I think, while expensive, is something that is doable with a bond, um, or realistic with a bond. I, I agree. I mean, I live that intersection pretty much every day. And I've got two choices of getting into Belmont. I can go up 74 that's backed up all the way down to the river, or I can go down uh, East Catawba Street that's back down all the way past where that little Main, uh, Main Street area is. So, um, I mean, that's an intersection and a key gateway into Belmont. I mean, if you're coming off 74 and you see Wilkinson's backed up, your immediate left is straight down to East Catawba Street. And <coughs> most people coming off 485 are not wanting to take 85 because of that interchange onto 85 is terrible. So most people are coming up 74. Wilkinson gets backed up all the way probably close to um, um, 485 exit. So, I mean, I think that's a really needed intersection, but that's just my two cents on it. Let me ask you, if I saw there was the right turn lane onto Catawba as part of that project. Which means we would have to condemn the property. Mm -hmm. we, yep. Now, well, I know, I mean, I don't know how this council feels. The last one was kind of reticent to condemn that property. Which one? Um, Watson's property? Watson insurance. Well, it's not the whole property, though, right? It's just that no. slice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, for whatever reason, we didn't want to take that on. Well. It was asked of us by uh, the churches. Yeah, oh, that's true, because we got, what is it, yeah. 100,000? We do we have a problem. Yeah. yeah, well, let yeah. me ask you this. I mean, part of the TIA for uh, the uh, development down there in East Belmont. Crescent? Crescent. Yeah, they, they were going to... That this was identified in TIA as something that they needed to go ahead and, and address. If we go ahead and commit bond money to it, we're, we're taking that lift off of them, basically. Okay, so do we have any way to recoup that money uh, from the developers at all? But that's I mean, a chicken and the egg problem. Mm -hmm. You know, do we collect a payment in lieu before the bond, or we do the bond and then, yeah. you know? Well, as long as there's some sort of mechanism to get some of that money. I mean, I'm intrigued by that earmark concept. I am. I don't know if it's viable or not. Let me ask you, I mean, on my list, I had things that were identified in the TIA for the middle school. Um, so mitigating the intersection of uh, Central and Keener. Um, there was yeah, that was one that DOT basically said they were never going to touch. Yeah. You know, the traffic circle? Yeah, yeah. So that would be a... That was one I thought of too. Stone Manor, Barnes House, and then the, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and if you remember, some of the residents there came to us with the proposal for a roundabout. Um, a they few years they did, lines. but also a portion of the residents there also don't want a lot of their property taken. Yeah. 
I don't think you'll run into the issue with Stowe Manor because I think Sam told me there's some right of way, NCDOT right away, there. Right away there. I don't there. think you have to apply or much of it there. I think it's more on the other side yes. of Stowe Manor and then on that other portion as well where it goes straight down. So mm -hmm. I don't. Well, I mean, that, that was the last discussion. I had. Yeah. I'm looking at you know how many people, the most banks have bought most impact. I mean, this was identified also as a need. And then low hanging fruit, the left turn on Julia Avenue uh, was also identified mm -hmm. in the TIA to relieve up the pressure for the traffic there, which doesn't sound like a major lift to, to add a lane there. I don't, I don't know, but add a lane all the way down Julia Avenue. There was, I think, the TIA called for a left turn lane. And I don't know how much storage it had and how far back it was. On to um, that, we received payment in lieu, I thought, from well, what's, Del Webb. Let's make sure that we're what left turn lane from Julia on to, on to um, South Point or South Point. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the opposite. Okay. Well, and I think you still need to think about doing a turn lane at the Stowe Manor intersection rather than a roundabout just because of the amount of property involved. Well, they, the. Uh, the DOT, when they were when I talked to uh, Mark Stafford, because we talked about the options, they did not want to endorse uh, another turn lane uh, if it's going to have if it's going to be a time signal because of the effects the, the effects that it will have on each successive Eagle Road, Central, and uh, Main. He said, you know, if you add a, a time signal there, it backs up everything because you're adding that much more time that everybody has to sit and pack. They were more in favor of the free-flowing traffic circle. I mean, that was that was that, that was how he explained it to me. He said, "You know, that's one of the reasons why they didn't want to put one at Central and Main is because you know, for it to cycle through with that left turn arrow is going to create more backlog behind them, waiting for those lights to cycle." I think oh, we yeah, want to get a cost estimate from. I mean, even just a ballpark figure, because if you're talking about that, just because of the drop with that land on the the, the side across from Stone Manor, that's going to make a sizable difference in the amount of money that's going to cost. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, I guess that was something I kind of talked to the Lakeview Farms people about was, you know, the the traffic circle basically performs better from a traffic flow perspective, but then the trade-off is there, they take up more space. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's more land involved and generally it's there a little bit more expensive than like a traffic light but well I mean I think they were going to be constrained about how much can we offer in a bond mm -hmm. and again you know it's back to making a decision on how far back you want to cut the tax rate you know yeah well, would it be possible to like model out like if we I don't know I'm just making stuff up put one cent of the property tax towards paying bond payments for 30 years or whatever and sure. get us x just like a couple different scenarios. Yeah, that would be yeah. helpful, especially if there's like a model where we can just like live play with that and see where the numbers go during our budget meeting. Is that what you're kind of talking about? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, or just even just a spreadsheet, just like yeah. you know, one yeah. cent, three cents, five cents, something like that. Um, yeah. Just you know, that would give us That's a little a good bit idea. more. Mm -hmm. You know, figure out what kind of numbers we're working. With. When you brought up Lakeview Farms, and I can't talk later, but I can talk now. I think. If I'm the taxpayer as well as the county, as well as the person on council, if we're looking at that and putting, like you said, the monies from part of the tax base toward road improvements and what they're offering, which is about $2 million worth, as the taxpayer, I want to see that that's happening too as we're going to look at all these projects. So I think it's it's all looking at a big picture of that as well. I mean, that's a huge pinch point there. Mm -hmm. Something needs to happen mm -hmm. there too. Yeah. Where specifically? Is it Lower Armstrong mm -hmm. at oh, South Point yeah. Road? Yeah, yeah. seventeen. Is that yeah. where it is? I would also, and this is another one we saw in the Lakeview Farms discussion, and I know they just recently, you know, within the last five or six years, changed it. But you know, we, it was discussed how that divided turn at R.L. Stowe Road and near Nixon uh, and and uh, South Point Road is is perhaps not the best situation that it's actually impeding traffic more than it's uh, helping it so you know oh, yeah, I the, see the divider yeah I see yeah. traffic yeah. way way back um, yep. trying to turn on uh, backed up on RL Stowe Road so 
you know, if that's, I mean, and, and if there's something like, I know we can't do the whole, I, I think it's, it's, it's a, beyond uh, our scope to do like the whole South Point Road. I mean, if maybe if there's a particular intersection that even a little bit, you know, of help could be added, um, you know, that, that might be achievable. Even yeah, if the whole like the Bellwood Drive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the worst intersection, and y'all live down there, so y'all probably live it more than I do, but is um, right there at R.L. Stowe Road and South Point Road. And then um, and then I think you know, where you're coming out of your neighborhood is also absolutely terrible. I mean, that whole area is Well, just, that, but you need a traffic light for that. And I don't, yeah, um, we have to move the one that has to Yeah, and that's not, that's a DOT lobbying issue. That's not a bond issue. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put Martha on that. <laughs> DOT. Yeah. <laughs> well, where does uh, I mean? Where do we stand? I mean, we've got a lot of projects. We are asking staff to create that modeling. Yeah, just to you know, kind of, because I think if we can figure out like how much money we're comfortable putting towards this and funding through the budget, then we can kind of figure out what progress we want to fund from there. Can. We go back or refer to the old TIAs, or possibly Randy might have uh, some numbers that they could affix to a traffic circle at Keener and Central and a left turn lane on the South Point Road in Julia. Rough numbers so that when we're looking at them, we can say, okay, we can we can afford this amount. So how do we apply it? How do we spread it out? Yeah. Sure. She does. When that came yeah, up a few didn't years ago. That for funding at one point? Was that the one that was four million dollars? I five? think it was four million dollars, and we were gonna. That was where she ran the. Yeah, because we, we talked about kicking in some money. For we were it. gonna kick in a million dollars yeah. or a million five, and she said it did not. In her, it did not substantially move the needle because yeah. of crash yeah. data, and it wasn't enough. Yeah, it was other too data. Safe. Yeah, though they actually had someone die at that intersection yeah. over there in the old Gat, Gad's old house, which is also hurting mm -hmm. the, the, the the intersection at Upper uh, Armstrong. The crash data surprisingly isn't there for that intersection. So I think we need to understand what we're going to do with the taxes first, especially mm -hmm. with the reevaluation. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have gotten as many calls and emails as I have well, in I regards think we to. We need to have somebody talk to us about tax increment financing, too, because as opposed to the bond. Because I remember some years ago we had somebody talk about that. And I don't know that it's a direction we want to go, but we need to explore it. No, I mean, I like that because the money, like I said, it's already there. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought in those terms, but mm -hmm. rather than taking on new debt, the yep. money may be already available. What were you saying, Kevin? I was talking about, I mean, you can't do it today. You can do it tax increment financing, mm -hmm. but there's not enough money in that. That's, that's for economic development purposes, businesses, increase revenue. Well, I'm talking about from well, affordability. It must, it must have changed then because we had, I talked to somebody who did that, and when we were talking about what we were doing at um, uh, McLean, that was considered, and that was supposed to be something viable. So it must, the idea must have yeah, changed it, then. It's kind of a, what they used to, they used to use the term synthetic TIF. It's not a real TIF, but it operates like one where they fronted infrastructure costs, mm -hmm. water, sewer primarily, and then there was part of that development agreement that over the time, once the tax revenue, once it hits a certain part, a portion of the tax revenues derived from that would go back to them to offset some of those fronted costs. Yes. Like a water yeah. Project. Yeah. So but it takes a development project, project to so generate it. I mean, do we have a do we have the ability to earmark x amount of cents for for, for, for road? I mean, you could do like an MSD or something. Yeah, I was wondering, is a municipal service district is that an option? But you said we have the right to to assess. Right. You can do assessments uh, that on properties that front on 
what it, what it, if you're doing a road improvement or water sewer, you can do assessments for the properties that are directly affected. But how would that look? Just the properties? But that would the, that yeah, that'd be fairly limited. Enough. I would think. Yeah. yeah. It's not gonna generate enough. Yeah. No, and then because everyone uses, I mean, a lot of most Belmont residents use those roads, so we would just burden those individuals in just that area. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the usual way you recapture stuff like this for roads is with like a toll, but we don't own the roads, so. Yeah. Well, we can certainly start getting, try to get some cost information on some of these you've highlighted, and then in the interim, we'll put together that little spreadsheet calculation you're talking about on how much we can generate percent okay. that could go toward debt service. I personally, I mean, I think it's needed, but I think that that's such a big intersection. This is just my opinion that the state's going to eventually pick that one up. I mean, that's on what Interstate 70, the 74. I mean, I think that one, I really think the state should be responsible for that. I'm okay with spending money inside of our inner city, but that one, they should be on the hook for that one, in my opinion. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, the, the one thing it does have going for it, though, is that. 74 is going to be a mess when they close 85. And the state should have done something about it. They yeah, didn't. I know. It's just, you know, the pitchforks are going to come out again. Well, I know so. that at one time, I mean, they were floating the idea, I don't know if it's still viable or still in play, of elevating Park Street right, doing that over, over, over yep. 74. What? Elevating like a Park over. Street. In other words, if you, if you come from Park Street Crossing Wilkinson, going toward Mount Holly. There, if you look at the elevation, you could do a total no bridge. You take the light that. out altogether. Uh -huh. That yeah. was one of the things considered. The light, and it was also going to be <laughs> beneficial for light rail on 74. <laughs> yeah. Not having to that's cross pie the in the sky. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is, it is. They, they floated it, not us. Yeah, they brought that to the table as an option. Yeah. And we wonder why there's no funding with MCTOT. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to elevate the road. <laughs> But I mean, again, I don't. That's a variable at an intersection that I don't know if it's still in play or not. But I mean, I don't disagree with your thinking on that. I mean, that's just my thought process. That's going to eventually score. I mean, not to play NCDOT's um, metric there, but I mean, and would the project be completed after all the studies and everything is done to to be in advance of uh, the construction on eighty five? Yeah. I guess the worst potential would be us starting that right as DOT's clamping <laughs> down on 85. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be the end of the world. <laughs> In yeah, no one can leave. That would be <laughs> nuclear. Well, all right. So, <coughs> have we exhausted the topic? For now. For now. <laughs> yeah. I think we can have well, but we'll, I mean, we'll get some of this information, bring it back up for another discussion later. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we've at least got the universe of what we do with said bond. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that's. No. Okay. All right. Then with that said, let's close out that discussion. I mean, we don't have other business on here, but does anybody have anything ad hoc they want to add or ask? If nope. not, I'd ask for a motion to adjourn. Hold on, I had a question. Okay, you have a question. Um, just because it popped up into my head. The and we're talking about roads. The crosswalk at now obviously we do if we do decide to do a bond and we target the East Catawba Street and uh, Park Street intersection there, I could have sworn that there was an approved crosswalk from N C D O T going in there from going down East Catawba. Did that I think there was. Tiffany can answer. So that was on us. That's on oh, us. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Um, I just didn't know if we do proceed with this and this isn't identified, that would, we would probably want to just lump that all into the same project, right? I'm sorry, for what? Which, the uh, intersection of the crosswalk, you mean? But that's what I'm saying. If we spend all that money on crosswalks and then this gets passed and then we update this intersection, then we've right. just wasted all that money for the crosswalk. Yeah, because that's got to be most of the cost, right? Because the actual crosswalk is yeah. painted. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you, you got to fight with DOT for about ten it's years reusable. to get permission to do it first. Yeah. I mean, I think it's needed. I'm not trying to stop it, but I, we're, we're, we're going to have a part project. of the crosswalk design. Wasn't was there? What, what do you call it? A refuge yeah, island? Yeah, we get run out there. And, okay. What's the cost ballpark, you know, for this interim solution? Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I know it's needed. I'm just trying to figure out how. That's all I have. All right. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Stand adjourned.